so we got the next Josh of All Trades. Uh, well, it's too hot for that. Josh of All Trades video out here. So what we got is our. I don't know if you guys can see our gate here. They got two gates. Got one and two here. They are just like warped beyond. Can you see that? That's how it's all. Once to close, how warped it is, and I even got the the tension wire on there, and I've done everything. I've done everything that I possibly can on these gates, and they're still just like rickety, and they're 10 years old, and they're falling apart, and things are broke, and so anyway, we're going to go ahead and, what's the word I'm looking for, reuse, re refurbish, or whatever, I'm going to reuse um, the slats, but uh, I had some old, old, old lumber uh, stockpiled around the house, and I went ahead and I ripped down some new 2x4s on my table saw, so I'm going to redo the new frames. I'm going to redo the frames on here. Um, got the brackets. We're not going to do brackets. We're going to jig, jig the brackets. And then if I need to, I will reuse the new tension wire that I just put on there. So, um, so that's where we're at. All right, guys. So here's how to do um, repair a sagging fence DIY with reused lumber and everything. Everything that I've got here. The only thing I bought was new hinges. Everything else is repurposed. Um, I'm going to take down my saggy gates. I got two of them on the side of the house and rebuilding uh, two new ones and I'm using my Craig jig instead of using fancy brackets to hold everything together because the brackets sag after a while and the Craig jig screws will not. So I'm going to show you uh, what I did. I've built one already completely so you can take a look at it and I'll kind of do a step by step on, on how to do the other one. Okay, so here's the new one. It's all perfectly all squared up and looking good. The only thing I had to buy was I bought new hinges um, with huge ginormous lag bolts instead of little tiny wood screws. And that's because here's the old system they had, the guy had before me when I we bought the house, this was already here. He's got some kind of like a T with some kind of weird angle deal in there, but this thing is just, I mean, as you can see it right now, see how warped it is? I mean, it's just, even with the slats on there, it was like loosey-goosey like that. So that's what he had in the corners. And all I did was this right here. So here's what it looks like. Let's let it open all the way. So I just built the frame and I threw some, threw some 45s in there. And all I did was I just Craig jigged everything in there, jigged them in. So I did that all the way around. And then, like I said, I put the new the new hinges in there and we're good to go. I reused the slats. I mean, so total, I think I'm into this 15 bucks for those heavy, heavy duty slat, or heavy duty uh, hinges with the, with the big lag bolts. But yeah, Craig jigged everything. I'm telling you guys, if, you, if you've never used the Craig jig system and you do a lot of woodworking and stuff, put it in your budget and buy it. I build everything with the Craig jig. You don't have to use glue. You don't have to use brackets for anything. You just throw a couple Craig jigs in there with the right right length of screw and it is it is super, super, super strong. So um, if, you, if you haven't, give it a try. You never know. So anyway, let's get back to it and see like this one even had, squirrel moment there, even had that string tensioner on there and it still didn't work. So the first step is I got all the boards cut, the outside cut, I got all the Craig jig holes here, so I'm going to jig these two boards together and then I will cut out and I will jig the 45s in there and then we'll go from there. Okay, <clears throat> so the next step is to tie these 45 degree like supports in there to give it a little more st structure strength and so I've got those cut out and I jigged three holes on each side. What I forgot to say earlier is I jig both sides. So, like, I got everything laying down on here right now, and I'll jig all this side together, and then I'll flip it over and I'll jig the other side. So, for all of you that are may not be familiar with the Craig jig, let me show you what it is. So, basically, this is it, and it's a pocket hole screw cutter, and then here's the, the bit, and if you can see, the bit has this little countersink on there, and then it so what you do is you adjust this for the height of your board and then you put that screw tip in here as you can see it's kind of dirty you put it in here and then there's a bunch of numbers and stuff in here it goes all the way up both sides and what that is is this sleeve 
it will adjust up and down and then with the depth of your wood here this will go up and down that tells how far that is to shoot it at an angle for your screws that way the screws don't go through and stick out the other side of the wood and so I just anchored it down on this big old piece of wood it's just a little bit more stable and then I usually screw this to the table so that's the next step we'll get those screwed on and then we'll flip it over and then we'll screw uh, all the jigs on on the other side and then we'll put the hinges on. Okay, so I got everything Craig jig both sides and then I got both the, both the hinges off there and then I went and I stripped all of the um, slats off the old fence and so now I'm gonna go through and just pull out all the old nails, strip all the old nails and staples and everything put them on there all nice and straight and evenly spaced, nail them up, make sure they're all nice and secured, and then uh, we'll go over and I'll hang up, hang up the new gate, I'll shim up, shim up some boards in the bottom, and then I'll put a level on the top, the way it's nice and level with the other one, and then we'll be good to go. Okie dokie peeps, it's the end of the day, the fence is done. So uh, last step there, I had it on the ground, got all the 45 angle braces and stuff in there, I laid the slats down on it, and just nailed them up, something pretty, pretty simple there. And so here it is, all nice, and tops all nice and flush with the other one, got the little latch on there that's super, super kid friendly there. So we'll come in and we'll take a look at the inside on this one. This one sagged a little bit more because that pole is not really secured well. I mean, it's part of a, of a line of the fence. This one here, I was able to screw it into the house really well so it didn't have a lot of sag, but when I put the gate on this one, it sagged down a little bit, so I had to readjust the um, hinges. It still doesn't need any kind of uh, wire or anything in there. It's still pretty stout, so there it is, guys. Hopefully that, uh, that'll that help you out. If you have a sagging fence, you can just redo it and put some bracing in there, and if you have a Craig's, Craig jig, you can jig it all up. So. Till next project, there you go.